South Africans and the world woke up to news of the passing of Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. The ANC has joined various political formations in recognizing his life. With us, the relationship with Sheng has always been that kind of relationship of unity as well as struggle in a sense of uh, moments where there have been disagreements. But never, love was never, never lost um, among those leaders. And uh, up until his passing, he still had a great sense of uh, decorum in terms of how he engaged and mutual respect in terms of how he engaged with the leadership of the ANC. And we take a leaf from that about what it means to be a mature leader. The Democratic Alliance, John Stienhazen, has described Butelezi as a steadfast leader. Well, I think it was um, a deep sadness at the loss of an elder statesman and somebody who has been part of our political life um, for decades here in South Africa, um, but also with a sense of relief for his suffering and of his uh, pain that he has been going through recently. Um, he had lost his wife in the last few years, and she had played a big role in his life. And we know that he'd been hospitalized, which must be incredibly frustrating for somebody who has lived an incredibly active and full life uh, for such a long period of time. Um, so really, I think it's a sad day for not only the IFP, but for the whole of South Africa, uh, as we lo lose one of our founding fathers and somebody who's been a part of all of our lives for as long as we can remember. One thing is certain that Kosi uh, Butelezi has played his innings very well. He had ups and downs in, in them, like any other leader. And uh, we wish that uh, the whole nation will give him the respect. We will remember the time on the eve of elections when the whole country was uh, uh, worried whether there will be peace. Fortunately, the Fort Hare boys, that is Gossi Vuttelis and Gossi Mandela and Nelson Mandela, they, 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 they pull it through. And uh, it's up to us who are remaining behind to make sure that that peace is sustained in this country. Let's speak now to Action SA's Herman Mashaba. He joins us from Johannesburg. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this morning. Uh, how did you receive the news? Well, we received the news first thing this morning. Heartbroken, obviously. I think uh, uh, Prince uh, Botelezi was really graced by God uh, to really be given so many years. And uh, many of uh, those years, uh, I think you and I are today live under a democratic dispensation for the sacrifice uh, that um, he put uh, to, to us as all, all of us South Africans, not only for the Zulu nation, but the entire South South Africa is one of those leaders uh, really brave enough not to really be distracted uh, by, by people with ad other agendas. He was a uh, principled man. He really served this country and he served it uh, with distinction. And I'd uh, really like to, as on behalf of Action SA, uh, uh, convey our condolences. Uh, to his family, to the IFP, to the Zulu nation, to the people of South Africa in general. Mm. Having started a political formation from being a business person, what role did he play or rather motivation, inspiration that he offered you? You know, it's interesting uh, to, to really raise this question. I think, you know, I never growing up, I thought I'd one day go into a political environment. People like uh, the Prince uh, Manga, Manga Sutu actually, to some extent, influenced uh, my decision to really enter the political field because uh, he was always attacked by people who were uh, designed to to destroy our country, but he stood his ground and really felt uh, an obligation uh, to also throw the, 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 the head in, in the ring. And um, I've always really shared uh, those moments and really uh, shared with him the inspiration that he gave me because we grew up under the evil system of apartheid and he, he was the kind of leader always looked upon as some kind of uh, an outsider. But at the end of the day, he stood his 
background uh, throughout you remember uh, the events leading to 1994 eventually he came to the party uh, uh, to really play a constructive role he played a, such a cru crucial uh, role even uh, during my three years as a mayor of the city of Johannesburg he used to come and visit me give me a call uh, uh, you remember uh, uh, a few years ago when I was the mayor uh, when I took a, a tough decision to close the M2 um, because of uh, the cracks in, 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 in some of the bridges when, I, um, the, uh, the, when we completed uh, the construction, I invited him to the official uh, opening and he graced uh, the occasion to really give me the, the support and appreciated the tough decision that I, I had to take. And that was the last uh, physical contact I had with him. And I still remember, I actually have a photo of, uh, of us uh, in, 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 um, in green, in, in uh, the, uh, orange overalls of uh, the city of Johannesburg uh, um, and uh, really the, the man was there to say please go ahead make sure that you make us proud as a city and uh, and the country thank you so much sir for your time this morning uh, action SA leader Herman Mashaba let's speak now to build one South Africa leader Musi Maimani who worked closely with Butelezi in Parliament for a number of years thank you very much sir for your time this morning uh, perhaps let's start with that how you received the news yeah good morning and good morning to fellow South Africans I think uh, it is indeed a sad day. I, uh, I knew Prince Mangosutu Butelezi uh, in my interactions with him in Parliament. We attended a lot of functions together. I was invited to his birthday. And, and certainly it is with deep sadness. And I want to just send my deep condolences not only to his family, who I, who I know the sons relatively well, and but to his party, the IFP, whom he served over a number of decades um, in different periods and in different contexts and ultimately to fellow parliamentarians who served with him and, ulti and also to the Zulu royalty and nation. It, it is a very, very, it, it, it is painful and, and I think the South Africans, this is someone who's played a big deal in our body politic in general. Let's expand on that. How would you characterize his contribution uh, to South Africa's history? Yeah, I mean, naturally, it is mixed, you know. I, I I can't shy away from the fact that I grew up in Soweto in the 80s in the violence between what then was IFP and the rest of the body politic, uh, and, it, and it was tough. It was filled with a lot of violence. I also can't dismiss the fact that when in a post-democratic South Africa, I can remember instances when in Parliament things used to get a bit out of order. He would be the voice of moral reasoning. I can't dismiss the fact that when we needed to negotiate coalitions in various parts, whether it was in Johannesburg, etc., that he was certainly clear on his views. And ultimately, I, I think, you know, like any other leader, in different times they played different roles. And to characterize it as one period would be a miss. But to note the fact that over a period of time, this was a South African who, at least in my interactions post-democratically, served ruthlessly and was very, very disciplined about the things that need to be done by, for this country. And for that, I think, certainly as a parliamentarian, owe him a great deal of gratitude. If you go online and you search his name and you go under images um, online, you find someone who is smiling. Um, I don't even see a picture here of uh, a frown or someone who is angry, but maybe personally, was he a personable somebody? Was he funny? <laughs> what, what nuggets of wisdom did he give you? <laughs> Look... Look, I mean, I think there are public images of him smiling, but you, you certainly knew never to cross the line with Prince Mangosutu Tillis. I can remember him writing to me this long letter where he complained about how one of my MPs had literally grabbed him inappropriately in the sense that he said the one MP was trying to get his attention and because he did that, Prince was deeply offended. And so, 
look, you could not. He was highly, res- he wanted always the respect. He was always very disciplined. I always found him, you know, even when you didn't use the right title, he would call you out on it. So, yes, this was a smiling individual, but underneath all of that was deep skill. I attended a wedding with him. That probably be the friendliest interactions we had. And so when we were at the wedding, he would laugh and enjoy us. And like a grandfather, you almost treated him like that. He was this grandfather who would laugh, but very strict, because when things didn't go according to the way he wanted them to go, it certainly call you to order at any given moment. So so we always had this mixed interaction with him. But, um, but yeah, uh, he certainly wanted to, he was respected. He wanted to be respected. But you couldn't doubt he was approachable. When I needed to speak to somebody and he could give us some sense of direction and wisdom, we certainly could be able to be open and interact and have a conversation with him. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We'll see my money build one South Africa leader.